Fire Boat, The Heroic Adventures of John J. Harvey by Maria Kalman. New York City, 1931. Amazing things were happening, big and small. The Empire State Building went up, up, up. Babe Ruth hit his 611th home run in Yankee Stadium. The Tasty Candy Treat Snickers hit the stores. The George Washington Bridge was suspended elegantly across the mighty Hudson River. Champion Pendley Calling of Blarney won best in show at the Westminster Kennel Club. On a hot and jazzy night, the word hotcha was invented. Hotcha, hotcha, hotcha. And on a sunny, fresh day, the John J. Harvey fireboat was launched. There were 12 fireboats in New York City. The Harvey was the largest, fastest, and shiniest fireboat of them all. It had five diesel engines, so it could go 20 miles per hour. That's pretty fast. Eight pipes that could shoot 16,000 gallons of water per minute, equal to 20 fire trucks, a completely round steering wheel, a control dial in the pilot's cabin, many brass nozzles hose housed in the gold room, a very nice can to oil all the squeaks, ropes called lines, and lots of levers, buttons, and buckets. There was a pilot and a crew ready in two minutes to fight the fires. They were a brave group, and there was a dog named Smokey who did not put out the fires, but had many nice spots. The Harvey went up and down the river, fighting fires. It fought fires at the bustling piers. The piers were the places where ships and trains brought all manner of merchandise to be sold in the city, like wood and cotton and bananas and bubble gum and everything. It fought the fire of the great ocean liner, Normandy. Sometimes Harvey just went out to shoot water in celebration. Many years passed, a new captain had come on board, Bob Lindley. He and his crew fought many fires, but New York was changing. The Twin Towers were now the tallest buildings in New York City, and the piers were closing. 1995. The city no longer needed so many fireboats. The Harvey was considered old and useless. It sat in the water for five years, waiting to be sold for scrap. And then a very surprising thing happened. A group of friends were eating at a restaurant called Florent. They had heard about the fireboat and decided to do something. Let's save the Harvey. Let's buy her. Everyone needs a fireboat. We don't put out fires. We'll just have fun. And they did. They took it to Cattle's Ship Repair Yard in Stanton Island. Even there, they said, she's old, it'll be hard to fix her, but the owners said, fix. So they fixed beautifully. The repair, they repaired the two propellers, making them new with a shiny coat of brass. Brass doesn't rust. They repaired the holes with steel plates and covered the places where the rivets wept. They scraped barnacles and seaweed off the hole and painted her with a shiny coat of red paint. And once again, the Harvey was on the water. Tim, the engineer, kept things running smoothly. Jessica, the assistant engineer at the controls in the noisy engine room. Andrew welding, Chase helping John fixing Tom cooking. Huntley at the wheel. And Bob Lindley watching over everyone and being very proud.
They made friends with the other fireboats on the river, the firefighter and the McKean. Everyone said the Harvey's a nice old boat, but she could never be used to fight a fire. Never. Toot, toot, toot. A boat says hello with four toots. But then, on September 11th, 2001, something so huge and horrible happened that the whole world shook. It was 8.45 in the morning, another beautiful and sunny day. Two airplanes crashed into the Twin Towers, crashed, crashed, crashed into these two strong buildings. The sky filled with fire and smoke. The buildings exploded and fell down to the ground. Many people were hurt. Many lives were lost. And the news spread. The city had been attacked. Everyone was terrified. The entire city sprang into action. Firefighters and police officers and doctors and construction workers and teachers and cooks and children and parents. The mayor was strong and he said, we will all work together. We will not be broken. What were the people of the Harvey doing when the plane hit? Bob Lindley was trimming hedges. Tom was drinking tea in his kitchen. Chase was walking his dog, Raider. Tim was reading the paper. Andrew was welding. John was working. Huntley was reading David Copperfield. Jessica was writing a story. The Harvey was snoozing at the pier. They all had one thought, get to the Harvey, and they did. They called the fire department. John J. Harvey, ready to help. How can we help? The answer came, you can help fight the fire. You can't help fight the fire, but you can ferry people to safety. But suddenly, an urgent message came loud and clear. John J. Harvey, where are you? We need you. We need you. The water pipes were broken and buried, and the fire trucks that had raced to the scene could not pump water. The firefighters attached hoses to the Harvey. The Harvey fought the fires alongside the McKean and the firefighter. For four days and nights, the Harvey pumped water and the crew took turns sleeping. People brought supplies, fuel, sweaters, gloves, pizza, sandwiches, and coffee. They worked and they cried. They fought the fire until it was under control. Finally, it was time for the Harvey to go home. Everyone on the boat had never seen anything so terrible, and they had never felt so proud. The Harvey was a hero, and everyone knew it. The Harvey won an important award, National Preservation Award, John J. Harvey, for capping a distinguished career of service by coming out of retirement to provide invaluable aid in New York City's hour of need. October 18th, 2001. At the ceremony, the audience cheered and some even cried. Now the Twin Towers are gone. Something new will be built. The heroes who died will all be remembered forever. The Harvey is back to being a very happy boat. Not scrapped, not useless, not forgotten. A proud and plunky friend. And all that's left to say is hotcha and thank you. Wait a minute, there's something more to say. The friends of the Harvey have found a little tugboat to adopt. Doesn't everybody need a tugboat?